Welcome to Positively Las Vegas. I'm Danny Beckstrom. There are so many things to love about Las Vegas, from its unbeatable sunsets to the neon glow of the Strip. But what really makes this city so special are the people who live here. During the next 30 minutes, you'll see stories from this week dedicated to people in the community doing good things, regular, everyday people making a difference and good things happening to those in need because we all need some help from time to time. Enjoy the very best of Las Vegas. Some Raiders are giving a special surprise to frontline workers at a local Walmart. The pharmacy team is being recognized for outstanding service during the pandemic. This is all part of Walmart's initiative to team up with the NFL players. And reporter Tina Wynn now has more. Well, we're here at the Walmart off of Tropicana in McLeod, where the Las Vegas Raiders are thanking our hometown heroes. For the last two years, our frontline retail health workers have been the real MVP as we've navigated through a tough pandemic. And today, they got a surprise visit from Las Vegas Raiders Hunter Renfro and Foster Moreau. Both players surprised the Walmart pharmacy team with breakfast and spent a couple minutes thanking them for their service. It's been awesome just to see all the associates here today and, you know, all the pharmacists uh, really just to give back and let them know that, you know, Walmart appreciates them, the community appreciates them, but, you know, we appreciate them, me and Foster do personally, um, just the time they spent um, the last couple years and, you know, whether you're for the vaccine or not, you know, that's, but these guys have just been here through it all and been, been very selfless in their, in their um, you know, their sacrifice they've made and so uh, been really cool and um, awesome to meet all of them too. It was such a special morning here. Everyone was filled with so much excitement. The Raiders are certainly making an impact on and off the field. Reporting in East Las Vegas, I'm Tina Wynn. Well, this week, Metro officers are reading to students at Clark County Schools, and this is a story that is positively Las Vegas. And Rachel Moore now joining us live in studio to explain how the event is meant to help police build better relationships with the community. Rachel, good morning. Kalina, good morning. The goal of these scholastic book fairs is to improve reading skills with students, and this program is just one of the initiatives under the Black Giving Circle umbrella, which is a membership group program created by the LVMPD Foundation. Now, it was designed to empower, empower Black owners doing so by mentoring the youth and this is at West Prep Academy off MLK and Lake Mead and what I found interesting was that after the officers read a couple of books to the students they had a question and answer portion now the kids asked things like why do you wear a badge or do you have a gun and then the officers asked the kids what do they think police officers do and most of the answers were they arrest people now officers said that was correct but they want the youth to know that the police serve the community in many ways we're building the trust with them at a young age so it can continue and we can continue to mentor them as they get older and make those life decisions in a good, uh, good light. Oftentimes their relationships are on the negative side, so to have Metro come in, read to our students and have an opportunity to build their own libraries is very, very important. Now each student gets to take home two books from the book fair that continues through the end of the week and this is to help kids build their own library at home. Black Giving Circle is always inviting community and business leaders to become members to support these programs and we do have information on our website on how to do that. Go to KTMV.com. Live in studio, I'm Rachel Moore.